We have uh, good news here on the show, which we rarely have. It's usually nothing but bad news. But uh, Carmella's recent absence from WWE programming has been explained. Along with her husband, Corey Graves, she revealed on Monday to Good Morning America that she is pregnant. The couple first discovered they are expecting in March. The baby is due in November. It has all been such a whirlwind, she said. I think because of my past, it was hard to get excited off the bat about this one. But I was cautiously optimistic. I try to have a good mindset, a positive mindset this time around. It's working. I'm very happy about that. Earlier this year, she appeared on After the Bell with Graves, spoke about having suffered two miscarriages last year. An ectopic pregnancy landed her in the hospital for several days in October. She said the experience left her with feelings of depression. So, uh... She went through it once and then a second time. And the second time, she said it was a health issue for me as well, not just the fact that I was losing a baby. My life was on the line. It was traumatizing, most devastating thing I've ever gone through because you're not only going through this extreme medical condition, but you're also going through the loss of your child. Has not wrestled since March 12th. It was quietly removed from television, which we had pointed out. She just vanished off the face of the earth. But congratulations, Ern Corey Graves. They will be having a baby. So that obviously is great news. And then the other great news, while making a surprise appearance for Beyond Wrestling on Sunday, Richard Holiday revealed amazing news. His cancer is in remission. He shared the news in a tweet on Monday morning. Revealed in December he was in the middle of undergoing chemotherapy treatment. Diagnosed with stage 4 Hodgkin's lymphoma after tests had been done in September. He said it was devastating. His doctor assured him he could win his fight. He said it was earth-shattering, but I knew right then I needed to change my mindset. The mind powers the body. I needed to stay positive. I was reassured by my doctor I could beat this. I believe I am going to beat this. And then on April 19th, after confirming he was no longer under contract, he made this surprise appearance and said that he is in remission. His cancer is in remission. So uh, that's two. And and there's another one. Nikki Cross announced on Monday she submitted her dissertation for her master's degree. What is her dissertation about to get her master's degree, you might ask? Well, the history of women's wrestling. Well, that sounds a lot more interesting than 1066 and the Norman's Conquest. I would like to read this. She said, uh, to all the fans who tweeted me, all the wonderful people, let me interview them. Thank you. I'm so proud. What do you think? PhD next. Going to write a book after some sleep. She studied remotely at the University of Edinburgh for her master's program. She would not take time off, she said, if she chooses to pursue her PhD. And she was in action last week. On main event, defeating NXT's Cora Jade. So how about that? Is that the first time ever we had three great feel-good stories in a row to start out Wrestling Observer Live? I I love it. It's got to be. We should do this more often. Well, the problem is we can't. I know. The environment is not nice to us. But, uh, yeah, we should just end the show right now and just end on a a positive note. What, What could top that on this program today? Very little, if anything. Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! You had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me! What are you doing to my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. <laughs> I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that. I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home and I just... I start running the water through my hair and, like, I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> 
I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Until it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show, and he saw old Burt Reynolds. Man, he saw Ronnie Shear marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret of mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.